Hi, this is Lonyo and I'm going to be doing some more StarCraft 2 commentaries. Um, these are all going to be done from replays that Boo sent me. He's the Red Zerg up in the top left corner here. And he's against a guy I'm going to call 6-2, six six, six even. I'm going to call him 6-2. Um, and he's the Blue Terran in the bottom. And basically, Boo just sent me a load of replays that he thinks are reasonable games. Uh, hopefully they'll be reasonable games. And I'm just going to commentate them just to kind of get hopefully better as a commentator and get some more practice in. So he's a 1300 level Diamond Zerg on the North American ladder and he's doing his Overlord Scout at the moment. There's not much going on, they're both doing standard openings, standard 10 depot from 6-2 and Boo's just droning up at the moment. And Hopefully this will be a good game. These are selected replays, so it's not like just completely random replays. These are the ones that he's sent to me that hopefully should be decent games. And so we're going to have to see how it goes at the moment. He's just droning up. He looks like he might be going 14 hatch, which is a uh, acceptable note. He's just going to scout with that, actually. Okay, he still might be going 14 hatch, because you can do that on Metalopolis with these spawning positions. And he's obviously spotted that the Terran's over here moved his overlord back, so that the Terran shouldn't have been able to spot the overlord. So... 6-2 won't know where he is and he's just sending out a scouting SUV now trying to find out where Boo is and he's going in the wrong direction for now and now we've got a drone scout coming in which is probably to try and slightly throw 6-2 off the scent because you won't expect a drone scout when the overlord would get there from close position so he might be thinking it's cross map positions but he might not, we'll see where the SUV goes, he might be just going straight here which would be quite good for 6-2 scouting um, we got the hatch down up at Boo and just a stick on the production tab, we've got the spawning pool down as well. And the SUV is coming in, scouting the base, the spawning pool's down. <coughs> and I think Boo's a bit annoyed that he's just got scouted straight off. Just got a standard one rax into orbital command at about fifteen I think. Or fifteen I think maybe. And getting one gas up at the moment and another supply depot to do a bit of a wall off. He'll probably be getting a something on the barracks in a moment to complete the wall off with the tech lab or reactor but at the moment it's just a standard expansion from Boo and nothing too much at the moment from 6-2 so Boo should be do able to do quite well as long as he manages to keep this hatchery up against any pressure and we've got a factory coming up so he might be doing some kind of Hellion Harass or Although with the amount of gas he's got, he might not be doing that. And we've got a reactor coming out, so yeah, he probably is going to do a Hellion Harass with a um, reactor factory, so he's going to pump out a couple of Hellions at a time and take down as much as he can. And we've got a Roach one coming out, so those Roaches will be able to cancel the Hellions quite well. And I think at the start of the game they had a bit of a chat, and Boo's played this guy before and possibly did a Roach all in forehand, so he's getting Roaches against him, we might be seeing an all in from Boo, which 6 2, if he's good, might be able to deal with, and he's expanding now, so he's got a command center going up. And these Zerglings are just gonna run around the map a bit, see what's going on. See if there's anything much they can do, but the Marines will probably be able to take care of them if they do decide to push up the ramp. So, just got a mod draining up coming from Boo at the moment while well, he's got the Roach Bomb finished and he's still only got one gas up, so he's saving up some gas for a few Roaches as I expect. And we've got a couple of Hellions just about to pop out from the factory, or soon will pop out from the factory, and they'll be able to take those things quite easily. But he's Boo's making sure he's scouting around the map, checking that there's nothing going on from 6-2. He's got his second gas up now, and he's getting down another barracks, so he might be going for some either marine pressure or marine order pressure once he's gone in with those Hellions to try and do some damage to the Econo Boo. And what you could do quite easily here if you're tearing is get some air, but he doesn't seem to be going for any air at the moment, and it looks like he's going to get some Thors with the armory down, so he'll probably switch off that factory for the barracks and pump out some early Thors and try and take down the hatchery probably as quickly as he can with the Thors. But we see the Italians going out to the Roaches, but the Roaches are able to deal with the Hellions quite easily because Hellions are pretty poor against Roaches, so he's got four Hellions out. And uh, yeah, four Hellions out, a couple of Marines out against four Roaches and the Queen and one Ling left. So he's expanding now, he's going to get that expansion down and probably start pushing some Thors out and he might get a starport and try and do a Thor drop in the back of Boo's main or he might just push straight onto the expansion and Boo's only now getting the second gas up and he's just really really pumping drones at the moment 
well, quite a few drones, but still not a huge amount. So he's slightly ahead, 26 against 22 drones. Just got his roaches out. Not much happening at the moment, and bunker, so... 6-2 looks like he might be afraid of uh, any kind of roach pressure. So he's just making sure that his expense is quite secure. Getting some more gas up to support those doors. And obviously no upgrades at this point. Just got some marines, which will pump, probably pump out the barracks because the door's quite gas heavy build. And it looks like we're just going to get quite a few roaches coming out. So we've got a layer coming, and a bunch of drones going to pop soon. Got five drones on the way. And we're getting vehicle weapons level 1, so he's definitely going to go for an early Thor push. Which, against the roaches, might not be too effective if Boom manages to play it well. Especially since the Hellions won't be able to do much damage. I mean, Zerglings are good against the Thor, but they're going to get absolutely melted by the Hellions. And there's quite a few Hellions out. So he's still got the four Hellions out, and he might be able to support that with some um, Marines. And this overall Overseer is going to get attacked by the Thor. Drops are changing so he can get a decent scout on the base, but 6-2 should be able to take that down quite easily because you should know it's there. Right. Looks like he's going to get two factories. Um, presuming he's going to pump a couple of Thors out of both of them rather than doing, or he might do Thors and Hellions. Because he's not producing much out. Oh, he's going to get a couple of Starpots as well, so he might be seeing some Thor drops coming fairly soon. And Boo looks like he's going to expand up here, which is fairly safe expansion because you're expanding away from your opponent. And he's getting a Baning Nest, so Banings will be able to kill any SCVs that are repairing the Thors when he does decide to push in with the Thors. So Boo pretty much knows exactly what's coming towards him, and it, mm, I'm not sure that 6-2's um, got too much of an idea of what Boo's got in his face. What, uh, if I press the V key I think I can just get his vision. Yep, so he doesn't really see much in the base. He just sees that the expansion's up, he's seen one tech building and he knows what Boo's built, which is roaches, but he hasn't seen the Baining Nest. <clears throat> and, okay, we've got tech lamps coming out of both star pots, and Thor's coming out of one factory but not the other factory, and another barracks going down, so not quite sure what he's going to do with two tech lab star pots, unless he's going to get um, some banshees to support the Thor's, that's a pretty gas heavy build, even though it's in four gas. It's He's not mining both of these gases very much. So Boo's going quite decent on the Econ, he's going to be able to get out three bases, and we've got a couple of Banshees coming. I'm presuming he won't get Cloak on those, because that's not going to be particularly useful. So we've got three Thors, four Hellions, and some Banshees, which will be really effective against the Roaches, because they obviously can't shoot up in the air. So it looks like it's going to be Ling, Baneling, Roach against Thor, Hellion, Banshee. And a decent econ for Boo, so if he can hold this off, they're fairly even. So we'll just have to wait and see. Positioning his thoughts, presumably just in case there are any mutalisks or ass, because he doesn't seem to have much of a clue of what go, go, go. Boo's doing. And he's scanned, but I don't think he's seen. Oh no, he's seen the Baining Nest, and he knew the Roach Nest was there anyway. And we've got a couple of Evo chambers now going up. So Boo's going to be able to get some upgrades. And he's got 14 roaches. Three queens and 33 zerglings. I expect to see some of them morphing. Yep, there we go. Morphing some of those um, zerglings to banelings, so they'll be able to take down the SCVs that will presumably be supporting the Thors if 6-2 is a decent player. And we've got another expansion going up for Boo, so he's making sure that he gets a decent econ going up. And eventually, I'd assume 6-2 is going to push out when the vehicle upgrade weapons 2 finishes, which will be fairly soon. So I'd expect to see him making a move any second now. And he's got more Banshees coming out, so he'll have four Banshees, a few Thors, a few Marines, and some Marauders, and basically going to focus mainly on the Thors. But, okay, he seems to have morphed pretty much, oh no, he's got a lot of Banelings, um, yeah, 22 Banelings, 21 Zerglings, and 16 Roaches, which should be able to do quite well if he manages to uh, take down any SCB support, and he's getting an expansion here from 6-2, which has just been spotted by Boo who's got Zerglings around, just checking them out for where that expo is going to go, which will probably be the third base down here, and some more little units getting killed, so Bu should have a decent idea of what 60 has got coming towards him, and he should be able to prepare, yeah, should be able to prepare, and he's got Overlords on the way, so we'll be able to see this coming, and the weapon is too finished, he's just got another Thor popping out, and a couple more Banshees, so he's probably going to go now those Banshees have hit, or possibly when this final Thor hits, and he doesn't have cloak on the banshee, so they're just going to be for extra 
firepower against the roaches because basically B's got nothing to fire against there, so and he's in the goal base here, okay? So he's assuming that his push will be able to hold off B and give him a decent advantage and stop moving up to do any kind of counter attack on our goal base. Even though it's a bit more risky than taking the far back bird over here, which is just basic mineral only. And the scouts he's taking down the creep tumors, stop B being able to move quite as quickly. And looks like we're gonna have a battle coming in. Separating his army a bit like that isn't a particularly great idea. Although the have got a longer range than the Hellions, but yeah, the Lions might be smash their heads and these throws. The Bainlings have smashed their heads against all the four of them. Pretty much all these swords going down to these roaches. And we've got a, enough roaches left with burrowing tools. Nice gang going off there to get the other roaches and no better than Hobbs and Hybrids. And so we've got a fungal growth on advantage, which is stopping them doing any damage in range. And these infestors and the Hydras and more roaches popping, which should be able to take out these swords. Or at least one of these doors, although it has reinforced. But it looks like with the reinforcing doors and the banshees that weren't killed because they didn't have any out yet, it might be in for boot because all these banshees are just doing so much damage when he forces to come in and try and take down the doors. If he had another infestor coming out, then he might be able to take down the banshees with another fungal growth, but it looks like all these doors are able to quite easily take down this hatchery. So even if we've got three bases, it looks like he might not be able to do quite so well. And this is the main problem. See, the main problem is the fact that there was all those banshees in the army, which absolutely no damage was done. Oh, I managed to take out a score with a drone. That's pretty embarrassing. But as you can see, these banshees are just absolutely ripping up all of the drones. And they've got the only thing before, and one roach just dies on it instantly. And he's sending it to this piece of me on his really not doing very much and it's just got so many banshees even though they're all pretty damaged it's not got any support. yeah the police complaining about all the banshees people have called them flying DTs which they kind of pretty much are I think they need a bit of damage here uh yeah, the damage 12 and they're going to take those other expansions so it looks like Doom might win even though he's got an expansion up is Still got the gold in 6 2 and these fancies just destroying absolutely everything. And 28 kills on the Thor. More than 5 kills on pretty much every single banshee. Which is mostly still all the drones, but it was those banshees and the complete lack of anti air from Boo that's basically cost him the entire game so far. So even though he got quite a few roaches and eventually got a couple of hybrids, they just weren't able to do anything against that many banshees that late on when everything else had already died. And we've got another Thor here. And yep, the Thor's is. Thor's the banshee to being up the hydra as soon as they pop. And boost on this to get any pot to this. And really bad man for the two so loads of minerals and loads of gas range and they got this bench. Uh the income coming up. And we've got about fifty percent more mineral income and a lot more gas income. And he's just able to take down boost main. Boost is doing a bit of complaining about the game. And yep, easy plus two four timing push and Banshee support which really helped against the complete lack of air that Boo had which was his, basically his biggest downfall because he wasn't able to do anything to take down the Banshees which just ate up his army as soon as they tried to attack all the mech. So I hope you enjoyed the game and got some more coming from Boo in the future hopefully.